Covering Colorado first at five tonight, and he survived a fiery helicopter crash and is now at the state capitol to try and save other lives by testifying in favor of a bill dealing with living organ donation. Now, this bill will provide paid time off for people who agree to share a kidney or part of their liver. Dave Repture needed a kidney after getting an infection while recovering from his very severe burns. He was a flight nurse on the Flight for Life helicopter that crashed in July of 2015 after taking off in Frisco. The pilot was killed. Another nurse was also injured. Our Jamie Leary is live at the Capitol tonight. And Jamie, we have followed Repture's recovery since that crash. And he is alive today, thanks in part to the man who donated a kidney to him. But he knows that others aren't nearly as lucky. Right now, there are thousands of people on the list in Colorado waiting for an organ transplant. And this bill, it hopes to offer more paid time off. Right now, as it stands, Colorado employers, state employers, they're not required to give you more than two days of paid time off to recover if you were to donate. So supporters of this bill hope with more paid time off, more people will step up and donate. Since I had my whole family sitting at the dining room table, I brought it up. I didn't think anyone thought I was serious. It was a bit of a surprise when Matt Martinez announced he'd be giving a kidney to a man that he barely knew. Even more of a surprise for his recipient, Dave Repture. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's incredible. I mean, the former flight nurse was nearly burned to death in the 2015 helicopter crash. Medication needed for his recovery destroyed his kidneys. So he was added to the list of Coloradans in need of a transplant, a list over 2,000 people long. It's part of why we're here today is just uh, to try to do what we can to see if this gift becomes more available for other people. It's hard to imagine that a donor couldn't get some sick time at work. Matt's employers understood, but not all employers are obligated to give time off. Ultimate goal is just to make it easier for someone to receive a transplant. Well, there's a lot of a lot of folks in need out there. The Living Donor Support Act would give employees 10 days of sick time for being a donor and give employers a tax incentive. Dave and Matt say sharing their story is just the beginning of making a change. I don't know where this is going to lead, but this is just the beginning, hopefully on a on a good road. And right now, I'm told Dave, Matt, and other supporters of this bill are just minutes away. They've been waiting at the Capitol all day to give their testimony, and they're just minutes away from doing that. Coming up tonight at 10, our Alan Janae, who has been following this story closely, will give us a look at Dave's life, how it's going today. And Dave gives us an account never before heard about that day, that horrific crash. So make sure to tune in at 10 o'clock tonight. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. Jamie, thank you.